How does a record make noise off of plastic? This episode's kind of all over the place. We'll be in the thick of Vlogmas. Oh my so... God, future Alicia, I hope you're okay. You know what it could be? Uh. Under the sink. <laughs> <laughs> It could be, and I don't even want to elaborate on that. If you know, you know. You know. You know what though? That really taught me that people love me for me. The funny. I just blinked so hard. It's, but I was. Really I'm really for... going through it today. I'm sorry. Um, no, no, no. You're good. Um, 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 um. Oh. Um. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Basic. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Pretty Basic, your favorite podcast ever. Ever. Or maybe you've just drained. It's Wednesday. Maybe it's a little fried. You drained all your other episodes. I was going to say, maybe they're, like, maybe they're like, oh shit, I don't have anything. You know, that that is the worst when you're like, oh, I have nothing else I want to listen to. Yeah. But like, I guess I'll listen to this. Or yeah. I guess I'll watch this video. You know what? That That is the normal social media experience and we're fine with that. Thank you for just listening in general. Thank you for letting us be your least favorite podcast, <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for listening to our fans and our haters and everyone listening in between. For all of you sitting at home, watching our show, <laughs> whatever that sound is. Um, yes. Welcome to the show. So happy to be here today. Why are you laughing? I'm laughing because I feel like we're such, we're just so different. <laughs> <laughs> Remy, I love you, but we're so different. No, our vibes are very different. I, I'm kind of giving Elphaba again. You're giving sexy witch. I like the little bow in the middle. Thank That's you. A, where's that from? This is from Urban Outfitters. It's very cute. For our audio listeners, I'm wearing a, it's a, a really cute. I'm just really cute. <laughs> um, it's like a green um, halter top that I haven't shopped at Urban in a long time. You were you were a big fan for a while. I was I, a, I would I would go daily. Yeah. <laughs> um kidding, but I recently went online because I have a whole bunch of gift cards that I haven't used cuz I'm a hoarder when it comes to gift cards. Yeah, same. Why is it that I will hoard gift cards for years? <laughs> I'll have no problem spending like $100 on something that's stupid that I don't need. But when it comes to the $10 gift card I have in my wallet, oh, I'm holding on or to holding that. that. That is gold. I feel that. Two things. One, gift cards and cash are the same thing. It's free money. It's not real money. I, girl math. I, yes. Yeah, yes. it is girl math. <laughs> Number two, I agree with your sentiments. I just went to Target yesterday to go grab some random things. I did a little Christmas shopping. I did a little, um, you know, laundry detergent shopping, normal things. Um, and I find, I had like four gift cards that I had scattered around my house mm -hmm. and I was so excited. So I, I brought them in and the whole time I was shopping, my whole thought process was like, oh, well, I can get this because I have a gift card. Oh, I can get this because I have a gift card. Um, altogether, it was $20 worth of gift cards. <laughs> my Target trip was about $300, so it didn't cover much. But do you have the same thing where like, even if I'm not spending the gift card, I'll go to Home Goods and I have one in my wallet, but I'm like, I mean, it would be free if I used the no, gift card. I don't think you really, well, one, yes. I literally, I still have a whole bunch of, um, I have some credit for a sneaker app, like a, a sneaker company, oh, one of yes. those. I will randomly go on there and be like, what do, What would I get? And then I just never buy anything because I, I think I like having the balance more than having anything it could get me. Mm, like like I you like could have knowing, it, you just don't want it. I like knowing I have the gift card and thank God they don't expire like they used to. Remember when gift cards no, would expire? No, gift cards do expire. I was going to say PSA, my friend Soy just posted, she had like 30 gift cards and she was like, PSA, make sure you check expiration dates because they were all expired. I need to check my wallet. What if, wait, wait. What if none of my gift cards are good anymore? And then you've learned your lesson. Yeah, You gotta that swipe them. That is so true. I feel that though. I don't know. I, I, I feel that. Girl math, gift cards. How'd we get on this topic? Target. That's why we got into gift cards? I don't know. <laughs> you wanna know something crazy? Yeah, lay it on me. Let's think about how much money collectively are just sitting in gift cards in the world. That's crazy. Mm, Wait, yeah. can I look it up? I bet there's like a rough number. How much money are on gift cards throughout the entire world? The report, oh, Americans have a collective $21 billion in unspent gift cards. Wow. This was, oh my God, this came out February 23rd, 2023. 
my God. But it's kind of the same thing as like a gym membership. Like Cal randomly called me the other day because there's a car wash, a new car wash place by our house. And he was saying that to get a car wash, it was like $10, like a, a single car wash. Mm-hmm. And when he pulled up, they were like, hey, do you want to join our membership for $10 a month? You can have unlimited car washes. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I just don't understand the math. And I was like, no, it's the same thing as the gym. It's the same thing as companies doing gift cards. They rely on on the people who are not going to spend them or the mm-hmm. people who are going to sign up for a gym membership and never come. And that's what keeps the lights on. You just reminded me that I have not stepped foot in my gym in a few months. It's a thing. It's a thing. That's crazy. Like when you really think about it, that their their whole business is betting on the people who won't come. But like, it makes sense, especially like with the gym. Like I think all of the, like a very large amount of memberships annually are signed up in January because mm-hmm. everyone's new year's resolutions and then no one comes and then they just make money. Cause you're locked into that thing. Like health insurance. It's crazy tangent, but that's a, uh, yeah, I got my shirt from Jesus urban outfitters. Christ, that was a tangent <laughs> because I had gift cards. Beautiful. Oh, you used that, your gift card I on the shirt. Gift. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I didn't <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to save my gift card. <laughs> <laughs> but but you could have but I could have and that's what works and yeah I get that I I've been recently <laughs> dipping into my um gift card stack I think we all have a gift card stack um I mean yeah we're not really like uh correlating on fashion today I'm wearing a Sherpa cherry pink jacket and my Uggs and I'm I just decided to be comfy today no I should have because these shoes kind of they're I'm wearing these like combat boots that have been to Coachella that have been many concerts um but I kind of get blisters with them and they're starting so you can't get them when you're sitting though so it's okay well that's what that was my girl math fashion (laughs) fashion um but yeah anyways how have you been Miss Remy Ashton I have been honestly not fabulous lately just I'm okay okay just like a lot of stuff I feel like is going on and it's just I don't know. You know, when you go in ebbs and flows, sometimes there's a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's really dull. Mm-hmm. And I, I've talked about this before. Appreciate those dull moments. And I keep longing. Like, it'll come back again. Mm-hmm. It'll come back again soon. I don't know what it is. There's just a lot a lot in the air right now. But otherwise, I'm doing, doing well. Trying to focus on, like, the day-to-day situation. Mm-hmm. Yes. How are you doing, though? Good. I, oh, my God. I have been looking through a lot of old footage lately for a few different projects, but one of them I found the first vlog we ever were in together. I need you to watch it. We've, oh, if you are a long-term Pretty Basic listener, you have heard the story about when Remy and I first met and I was a total bitch, okay? (laughs) I just love though, because like every other podcast we go on, they're like, how'd you mean, how'd you mean? I'm like, here I go. You know what it gives? It gives like like lights go down, spotlight on Remy, the wind comes on, she grabs the mic. It all started. And somber music. In 2015. Do, do, yeah. Do, do. But we were at the Standard Hotel in Los Angeles. It's mm-hmm. not there anymore, but it's on sunset. We were outside and they had these little tents. The vlog is us in the tent. Like <gasps> is it, it what I from my memory it was you, me, Sierra, and Mia. Is that true to the clip? No, but I want <gasps> you to watch it. Okay. We'll put it on our Instagram. Everyone, please go to the pretty basic Instagram and watch this clip. Please note uh my voice, first of all. <gasps> yeah. I think that's the only thing to really note. Um, and then this is the whole raw clip. It's not what was in the vlog. So you see me messed up in the beginning. I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. like it's so bad. So I need, I need, I'm going to send it to you. You need to watch it. it okay. is so, but it was the, it was literally the day we met. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know how I came across it, but I did. It's and it's so seriously, funny. I like, I can put myself right back in the feelings that I had when I saw you across the hotel deck. Like I could really, I remember it. I even remember, I mean, that was like before, but I I was going to say when you brought up Urban Outfitters, Urban Outfitters reminds me of Black Friday, of going late in the night or like waiting for the best. Because we were always thinking like, Urban Outfitters was so cool. They're going to have like the best sales on things and like waiting up all night to go to the mall. And then I'd hope that I would run into you and Mia. Oh my God. And I hope that one day we could be friends. And I 
would hope that they think I was cool. And you guys are always so nice to me. And I would just get so excited. And I always see you guys at Urban Outfitters. Like like two times in a row, I saw you guys at the mall together. Yeah. And I remember being like, oh my God, like, should I say hi? Like being so nervous. And you guys are always so nice to me. Well, I felt the same way because I was, I've been looking through all of these old clips and photos and stuff. And I am literally teleported to that exact moment in time. Yesterday, I did a main channel video of me reacting to all of my past 10 years of Vlogmas videos. Aww. And I was in my feels watching the 2013 one. Like when I, like I was such a baby mm -hmm. and I had no idea and I was in my feels and I remembered that exact day. You know how when you look back in life, it's always big days that you remember or ones with a lot of emotion or feeling like days you were super happy or days you were super sad. But the mundane days are the ones that you are just gonna forget. Yeah. That's my favorite thing about vlogging is because we can look back on those random mundane days where literally I, you're, you're going to scream when you see it. I'm at my parents' house still. I'm in my pink and zebra room. And I'm just like, hey guys, oh my God. So da, 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 da. And like, here's my food I'm eating. Like, the, like it was just so random. But I rem na after watching it, I was like, I remember your, this yep, day. Yep, yep, yep. Are, is your room still pink and zebra at your parents' house right now? No, they Boo. painted it. Oh, and then they moved. Oh, so I had to say right. bye to the pink and zebra. <sighs> but if you had a hot pink room growing up. There were like two types of girl rooms, I feel like. There was like the green, like very Lizzie McGuire. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like light green. Yeah, that and, was me. Yeah, yeah, with the pink pops and stuff. Yeah. Then there was, cause there wasn't many options then. Like now anyone could do anything because we have social media and stuff. Then it was whatever Target had or whatever Walmart had for your bedspread. Or you know Macy's I mean? home. I was yes. so big on Macy's yes. home. I agree with that. I also like, when we were growing up, I feel like every girl had like a very similar room. You're right, like yes. a similar layout, posters on the wall, um, the crazy prints, the, the you, ju juxtaposing colors and patterns. Did you have the cloud sheets? No, oh my the God. clouds on my sheets? Yeah. No. Oh my God, there are these specific cloud sheets that I had and I was watching Pen15 and they had them and I was like, <gasps> oh my God, Pen15 is sheets. so spot on, it's, it's crazy. So but I will say like now, I could see like teenagers having uh, like very calm, aesthetic, neutral bedrooms. Like I could see that, but like that wouldn't, that was not an option for us. Like also, when we were younger, it was pink, blue or purple. That would have been so That's boring. It. Yes. So if you had a hot pink room with some zebra, I bet you've been through some shit. You're a bad bitch. And uh, the Target zebra curtains were like 10 bucks each. I would like to walk through our bedrooms as children. What did your, like your earliest bedroom, what, is it, what did it look like? Oh my that God. you can remember? We ha okay, you walk in my room. This is what you see. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the YouTuber thing. It was white above the chair rail, but then it was blue sponge paint at the bottom. And you did this yourself? Yeah, we did it ourselves. Cute. Yeah, it was like a project and we did it. Okay, love that. My first room that I remember, I think I must have been six or seven, six years old, I think it was. And my parents had just bought the house that they're in now. And uh, these two little girls were living in it before and I was obsessed with it when you walked in. It's still my room at my parents' house now, I'm, but like I it just, it's I gone through different been, lives. I haven't and I wanna go. To my parents' house? Yes. Oh my God, we should go to my parents' house. It's fine. Like there's nothing special going on in the no, town, but, but it's cute. It's like your you can childhood bedroom. see where I filmed my first videos. But this was when I was literally six years old. We, and I just, I wanted to keep it exactly the same. When you walk in, there was, uh, <laughs> pink and white striped paper all over like the entire- <laughs> Vertical or wall. horizontal? Vertical, okay, okay. obviously. Oh, very Victoria's Secret. And then uh, at the top, which I don't know if this is like, this must've been a trend back in like the early 2000s, but it was just like a foot of like a certain wallpaper that covered the top of the, the wall. And it was all dolls, like, I'm not kidding, probably a thousand American girls dolls just standing straight, staring straight ahead. Wait, that was the wallpaper? That was a wallpaper. And it was just a foot across the whole perimeter of the top ceiling of the room, pink and white stripes down. Um, and then all my like crazy furniture, like it was, I, actually a nightmare now that I think about it, but I was obsessed. I had names for all of them. They all had like little dolls. lives, like actually a thousand dolls lined up <laughs> standing straight against my, like I, I have to find a photo. It was crazy. No, dolls always freaked me out. My my aunt who was like my grandma got Ashley and I these like nice, like collectible dolls. The ones that just like stood there. I couldn't take it out of the box. I was terrified. <gasps> You're I was, scared. I was like, 
Yes, because oh, we would get. I, I mean, we but me, like we would always get nightmares and like waking up and seeing a doll just staring at you. We like could I couldn't. I was such a doll kid. I mm-hmm. was an American Girl doll girly through and through. Bitty baby I had my first bitty baby when I was like six years old, and I treated it like a real child. Also, I loved that little baby doll that you fed powder and then it would shit. Did you ever have one of those? Oh no, baby but I've seen alive, a-, a baby so real. That just reminded me of Betty Spaghetti. Did you? Have I a Betty loved Spaghetti? Betty Spaghetti. Oh, let's I let's get into all of this. <laughs> I'm ready. Ashley and I just actually did this. We were trying to think of old nostalgic commercial jingles, <gasps> but specifically around like toys. Tell me if you know what this is. Nope. Mighty beans are on the scene. Mighty beans. The na 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 na. Mighty beans. No. Do you- Were those those little g- the beans that would like move? Yes, the magnet things. Oh my god, I Mighty forgot about them. The <gasps> I, so I was singing it, and Ashley was like, "I don't know what you're talking." about. I don't about. remember the and song. And I was like, "No, no, you know, Mighty beans." <laughs> She's like, "No, I really don't know what you're talking about." I was like, "That's one of those commercials that have." stuck with me my entire life. I don't know why the jingle, Mm -mm. whoever made that jingle deserves a raise. I mean, I don't remember that song. I remember Mighty Beans. We got to stop the podcast to give a shout out to Macy's. And if you are looking for a gift finder, okay, this is the ultimate gift finder you'll ever find. I uploaded a YouTube video recently giving some like holiday gift ideas. Mine is horrible compared to Macy's gift finder. It is literally my little hidden thing when I tell, well, not hidden because I talk about it a lot online. It is seriously game changer. You can get your holiday shopping done so quick because it has everything filtered out for you. Like no matter what your budget is, if you're looking for gifts under $25, $50 or extreme luxe products, boom, filtered. You can shop by the price. You can also shop by gift list. You can also shop by category. I'm talking beauty, fragrances, jewelry, watches, handbags, accessories, shoes, literally any type of category you're looking for. It can just help you filter through so much stuff. Also, my favorite part is going to the department store or even just online, but they have the gifts that are pre-wrapped and they look so good. And especially if you're doing last minute shopping, they're also good stuff. I'm talking like Mac cosmetics, like they'll have their little three trio lip thing in a little ornament ball. Like it's so cute. Like I always love those. Plus, Macy's has curated unique lists for all the personalities in your life. If your loved one is a spa day enthusiast, Ashley would love, you know, the little ice pack for your face, massage roller, gua sha, anything like that. She loves. If the person you're shopping for is a huge sports fan, they have all the sports memorabilia you could ever think of, especially online. And you can even find curated gift lists from your favorite influencers. So happy holiday shopping. Head on over to Macy's.com slash gift finder. Okay, I need everyone to listen up because I need to tell you about the underwear that I'm currently wearing that I'm obsessed with and I cannot keep it to myself. It is so good when I tell you, you need it and you need to give it to everyone you know. It has taken my underwear drawer by storm. It is literally kicking out every other thing that I own, okay? This is the Fits Everybody Collection by Skims. Miss Kim Kardashian, I don't know where you found this fabric. I have to tell you, it is the comfiest, stretchiest, soft, buttery fabric that I didn't know I needed until, honestly, until you. So thank you. I honestly love it. I wear them all the time. They're my go-to underwear. I think everyone should experience this level of comfort. It's seriously amazing. Skims is creating the next generation of underwear for everybody. They always have such awesome collections. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear, though, is super lightweight and molds to your body. Also, it's available in sizes extra, extra small to 4X. Like, seriously, they mean it when they're making underwear for every body. You have to believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. The Fits Everybody collection and more perfect fit essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. Also, after you place your order, please be sure to let them know that we sent you select podcast in the survey and be sure to select our show, Pretty Basic, in the drop down menu that follows. That would seriously mean so much. And yeah, happy shopping, guys. I was just a doll kid, though. I didn't like really have any of the other like really 
other toys. Betty spaghetti. I know. I, like- I loved Betty. <laughs> I, you know what I fucked hard with? A Diva Star. Do you remember what a Diva Stars no. was? Oh my. They were Let me look it like, up. no, you're going to love a Diva with um, S T A R Z. I loved any, any doll. I loved um, my baby alive again. So you would, it, did oh. you? Yes. Right. <laughs> I didn't have a Diva Star, but this is when, I feel like this is when Bratz came up too, right? Um, I think a little bit before, but yes, I loved, I Wait. loved a brat. I loved a. <laughs> No, I was obsessed. I was, uh, I had every single one of them and then I'd line them up in my closet like that. Remy. No, I was like a scary doll kid. But the baby alive, do you remember this? It was a little, it, they still sell them because I went to Target recently to look at toys for myself. <gasps> yes, I never had one. A baby alive. Wait, did you just say you went to look for toys for yourself? I like looked for some kids and then also I did buy myself some toys, which we'll get into very soon. Oh. I can talk about this all day long though. Sorry, is this, is this not interesting? Toys. I love toys. After one of the recent episodes. I love toys in general. Okay, Baby Alive. It was a little yes. plastic baby that had a hole in its ass, like a literal hole, like a tube going through, like, like we all do. And no, oh my God. Oh, was it blonde? I'm going to show you. There's this. These ones? Baby a lot. No, oh what is god. that? <laughs> okay, that's how I feel sometimes when <laughs> when you're like, oh my god, I love yeah, like I love this yeah, like a game you grew up with, and then you're like, what the or like they like rebrand the main character. Wait, yeah, they did not used to look like this. <laughs> oh, this one? Yeah. Born, my real baby born, my real baby doll? Like a doll. Yes, 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 no, yes, no, yes. No, no, no. Okay. So it was a little plastic baby that came with powdered like it literally looks like powdered like oatmeal packets and it was white and it was just like a, a powdered like probably I don't know what it would be because like I was thinking wow. powdered milk but then I'm like they wouldn't moist that well also yes and then also I'm like that would just sit and grow bacteria because I didn't clean it ever <laughs> <laughs> unless I was supposed to I don't read instructions but you would it came with a bottle and a little bowl and a spoon and the powder and you would put the powder into the bowl and water mix it put it in the bottle and then you would feed your baby with the bottle and then it would shit and pee into it's a, a diaper and then you'd have to change the diaper and you would like put it on it had a little toilet that you'd put it on the yes. toilet oh, oh my god i just ha- i i i see the commercial of someone setting it on the toilet yes that's weird okay but i loved it i just used my imagination i mean i didn't want to do the dishes no or the diapers i don't know why i was obsessed with it but like yeah looking back i'm sure that thing had like disgusting bacteria growing in the tube. Would you just like let it shit and then use the powder again? Do you have to buy new powder? No, you have to get new powder. Oh, that's what, that's how they get you. I love, I loved an easy bake oven. Did you have an easy bake oven? Ashley did. Oh. And I used it. Yeah, as you should. (laughs) I loved an easy bake oven. Polly Pockets, chewing on those little jackets. Oh my God. Wait, did you have the little, like, like Polly Pocket or did you have the one with the rubber clothes? The rubber clothes. One? That one was so cool. Do they have no more rubber clothes? No, no. Those were like the newer version, <gasps> but most Polly Pockets were just like the little compact, little plastic ones. Oh, they Not were? Not like Legos. Yeah, the OG <gasps> ones. No, but I just had a Pixel Chicks. Did you have Pixel Chicks? Wait, why does that sound familiar? Pixel I don't Chicks think just I came to my head too. They were these little like um, houses and then it kind of was like a Tamagotchi, but with little ladies and then you could like buy a bunch of them and stick the houses together and they'd walk from one house to the next oh my god it's like a tamagotchi but you yes. connect them yeah and you could dress them and they like lived a little life wow i love toys but i recently went to target and i bought myself like i was walking around the aisles and it's crazy the toys they have now for children mm-hmm. They had, and Abigail sent it to me because she was like, is this real? And I was like, yes, and I've been wanting one, but it's for like ages six to eight. So I didn't get it for myself, but it's, <laughs> you guys, it's crazy. It's insane. It looks like a little oven. It comes with like, it, it's like, it looks like a little oven. It gives you like baking supplies. So you make like a little mix. You pop the mix into the oven. You wait 60 seconds and in the oven pops out a stuffed animal. What? A real ass stuffed animal, a big ass, real stuffed animal. Can you believe that? I don't know what trap door is going on inside, but like, I need it. Wait, what? I swear, you want to watch it? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. See, but here's the fun part about, you know, being a cr- influencer or creator or anyone, but like, you could just do a toy review. <laughs> like you could be like, ha, ah, I like, wanted I to it. so badly. I also like wanted to do that Hatchimals, that giant egg that used to hatch too. Mm-hmm. I'm curious why you haven't had a series. Where- no, you need to watch it. Wait, I don't like the thing on the front. Why? It's cute. No, it's like, what is it? 
Is it bread or is it a turkey? It's supposed to be like a little bakery, like stuffed bakery item. Mm -mm. No, it's crazy though. So you make a stuffed animal? No, it's like in a trap door and it comes out. But like, if you're six, you just made a stuffed animal. Oh yeah. What is this powder? Just wait, bitch. It's crazy. I'm watching Linda's video. This has a million likes. No, that could have been me. Like, Should I become a toy reviewer? Yes. Wait, no, I think she makes it. <laughs> Let me watch. <laughs> oh, no, she doesn't. Make <laughs> I don't. No, like ma imagine you're six and yeah. you just got that on Christmas morning and it's like, your mom's making breakfast and you're you're doing this. Like it's the most exciting thing to ever exist for a six year old. I'm scared. <gasps> <laughs> it's some magic, I swear. Wait, it's magic. Wait, it's magic. It's a pillow. It's a stuffed animal. Cute. Right? Like that's amazing. That we're using is science insane. for the right things. If you ask me. That's insane. No, imagine being six and getting that. Like, that's so exciting. You know, sorry. All good. <laughs> Don't need it. You know what I just thought of, though? Mm. I just feel bad for the kids who then, like, go to school and they're like, yeah, I baked this. And then all the other kids are like, that's not how you get a stuffed animal. But I will say, similar to when we were kids, Barbies were the thing, Bratz were the yeah, thing, Video right. Nows were the thing. Like, now maybe whatever that is called is the thing. So maybe they all bring them. Or, right. Do you remember the era of Webkins? Oh, Duh. Everybody, I actually never had a Webkins. My mom would not get me one, but everybody had like 17 and would carry them everywhere and like play online. Like mm -hmm. it's just, it's the cultural phenomenon. Right now I know like, um, what are those little balls called? Little, uh, fuck. Like I don't the know what they're LOL called. Surprise ones? A little surprise. Mm -hmm. Like that is the, the thing right now. Like the, the era right now is gonna grow up and they're gonna have a podcast in 20 years and be talking about how LOL surprises like change their lives. You're so right. Or these bakery bitches. <laughs> you know it's true you're so right it's true I'm, i am right wait so you didn't buy that what did you buy oh my god i went to target to shop for steph's kids mm, who are oh, okay. one in three and while i was there i did get distracted and buy myself some things so there's these new like the new phenomenon of toys are like little spheres mm -hmm. lol surprise you have the mini brands yeah, and collectible things collectible yeah yeah because they like that's i'm like also on the side of like TikTok where people just have to get like everything mm -hmm. and so they buy like a lot of them. It's mm -hmm. very interesting to watch. I'm glad I'm not in that that slippery slope yet. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it's called, but they're like little DIY projects and there's like food or there's like lifestyle. Um and I got a couple of each to try out, but basically they're like things that you can build like a tiny, as I'm talking about it, they're so fucking dumb. It's like things to buy, like um, to build like a tiny little house. And so I, I got a lifestyle. I got two lifestyles and I opened it up and one of them was like a little, it's like a tiny baby cactus and you build it. It gives you like a little thing of resin and like a little pot and little fake cactus and you like build it yourself. But Cute. I really wanted the turtle tank. And you never got it? No, I got the beta fish, but still it's fine. <laughs> and it came like this little bowl. And then it gives you like a literal beta fish the size of like a third of my pinky nail. And it gives you like real resin, which resin is like really dangerous, I'm pretty yeah. sure. And I, it is in the kids section. So I think we should be careful because I remember when resin projects were really big in the thick of quarantine. And I remember I was doing them. And then I talked to Lauren one time. She was like, that was dangerous. Like you're supposed to do it outside, open windows, mask on. I was just pouring that shit me. all over my count, my brand new countertops. I still have resin on my floor that I cannot get off. Me, my, me with my table that I ruined. Yes. See, you're supposed I was to breathe in those yeah. fumes. I didn't know, the, which I don't know if we should have in the kids section, but either way, you, you put the little beta fish inside and it gives you like a little resin jug and you make a little baby, tiny little fish tank. I just... I, the, the whole time we're talking about this, I'm not thinking about when I was six, what I would think. I'm thinking now about if I was to have kids, how annoying it would be to, for them to be like, I need it. And they're like, okay, fine, I'll get it for you. You get it for them. It's not the one they want. And then they're like, that's yeah. not the one I want. And then you're like, oh God, I have to buy more. Like that's you're great. So like right. that is insane. Because that is really like the whole trajectory of 
I, I just feel like the pipeline in which games are going or toys are going now where it's like all collect them all. Yeah. It's a good but tactic for the company. Same thing with us in like kids meals. You know, you get the toy. It's usually a collectible type situation. Is, is so anything right. new for people now? Like, do we all just have the same experience? Have you ever seen a cookie turned into a stuffed animal? Also, that wasn't, I don't know what that was. That was not a cookie. I don't know why I like that. It, like it felt so weird for me. I want to do it together. If I bought you one, will you do it with me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I really am going to be such a good mom in the sense where like, I can't wait to play with the toys with the kids. I was also thinking recently, which granted I can't like, and I obviously know being a mother is way more than playing with toys. I can be the fun aunt. That's what I'm good at right now. <laughs> and I love watching like, Disney movies granted I think by you know a hundred times in the month I'll be probably annoyed but like mm -hmm. I love it I can't wait for it well speaking of well, on a recent episode I told you I had a dream that I was pregnant yes and I was like what is happening like what is going on with my my maternal instincts yeah. you know and there were actually a lot of comments and I got a lot of dms from people saying that that dream can be interpreted because it's a thing because like you can look it up but dreams like that if you're pregnant can be interpreted to you having like a new project or something <gasps> and low-key I feel like we won't say it now but like we kind of are yeah you're gonna birth something and it's coming out of the birth canal it's getting prepped literally for you to birth it or maybe <laughs> you're getting another dog so I had a dream <laughs> last night that I had, I was getting another dog, but I remember thinking Maybe. I can't have, like, I don't know how, like it would be too much. Mm, I understand. That is very interesting. I need to start like writing my dreams down and we should have like a dream. We always say that we need to, let's actually like find someone to sit there and analyze it. Well, honestly though, I don't want to talk to people about my dreams. Some of them are really bad. Oh no. Sometimes like this is gonna sound horrible. Sometimes there's ones I won't say like what, but like there'll be ones where like I committed a crime and like should be in jail, but I'm not caught. And I, the the guilt. Then here's one thing: we never have to worry about me because my conscience will turn myself in <laughs> from what I've learned from my dreams. Because I literally like I can't I can't keep going. I can't like what am I gonna do? No, what do we do? I feel I, that. And then I wake up and I go oh my God, it was just a dream. And you're so grateful. And I'm like, yes. oh, thank God. But I also, get it. I can barely jaywalk. So like, I think that does set the tone. <laughs> Hard for me to break rules. What does that mean? Let me look it up. What, what exactly? That you're scared that you would turn yourself in? Like if you're like being chased or like you're like, You've committed a crime. Yeah. I'm dead because we're like, we need an interpreter. And then I just Google. <laughs> oh, while it's possible that you've just been hitting your favorite true crime shows a little too hard before bed lately, which is not true because I don't do any of that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Shame. Dreams about murder or other crimes can often symbolize different kinds of non-crime related anxiety, dissatisfaction, or feelings that we're experiencing in our real lives. That's so interesting. I think like more of my dreams come from what I scroll on my phone before bed more than I think. I don't read too far into like what I actually dream about personally, but like I get a lot of true crime stuff on my TikTok. I get a lot of like um, random crime. Like I love watching all the crime. The thing I sent you last night, I had some random crime <laughs> stuff on my TikTok feed. And I think that's what I think about before going to bed. And then that's what I think about. Here's another one. It says, what does it mean when you dream about being a criminal? Um, the meaning behind criminal dreams denotes that you will be harassed with unscrupulous unscrup persons who will try to use your friendship for their own advantage. Be in danger for they will fear that you will betray them and consequently will seek your removal. That's dark. <laughs> See, if I read too far into it, though, then I go on a spiral and then I'm like too, on too high alert for no reason. No, I think it makes me feel better because I'm like the next time I have a dream where I commit a crime, then I'm like, oh, I'm just anxious <laughs> like or whatever the case is. OK, I mean, whatever gets you through the day. Yeah, I think I just like knowing why things are things. Yeah. Why they're <laughs> happening. Yeah. Mm. But I too need a dream journal. Hi guys. Today I am coming on to talk to you about Hinge. This is quite possibly the easiest ad read of my life because uh, I have this ring on my finger right now and the love of my life because of Hinge. So if you guys don't know, Hinge is the dating app to be deleted. Cal and I met on Hinge in June of 2019. We've been together for almost 
like four and a half, almost five years now, which is so crazy. And I love Hinge so much, not only because I got to meet Cal through it, but also because of the prompts they have on there. And I have so many friends who are either engaged or in long-term relationships because of Hinge and because of these prompts. I think it's so great to be able to find common ground with someone so quickly on to meeting someone. I actually remember I was recording an episode of Pretty Basic and we just had ended and I looked at my phone and I had a response from a really cute guy to one of my prompts. I took my profile very seriously. And I remember one of the prompts that I answered was like, what are three things you can't live without? And at the time I was very into Chance the Rapper and I said puppies and tacos on the beach. And I remember after we recorded, I looked at my phone and it said, Cal answered your prompt. And he said, Chance, puppies and tacos on the beach sounds like my three favorite things. So right off the bat, obviously having so many things that we like in common, food, animals, music. We had so much to talk about. As you guys know, if you listen to the podcast, we started dating officially in July of 2019. We were immediately in honeymoon stage. It was so much fun. It's my first relationship. It's Cal's first relationship. And we just had so much fun dating and getting to know each other. And then we all know what happened in March of 2020. And without even planning it, we both moved in together and started this life together that we had not expected to happen so early on. Our relationship has come so far over the past few years. We've grown so much together, so much individually learned so much about communication and each other and our families and just our whole dynamic has become so special, especially this year. I feel like we've really become and solidified as a team. So thank you again to Hinge. I love you so much. You changed my life. And if you guys also want your life to be changed, then you can download Hinge and find someone worth deleting the app for. This episode is sponsored by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, whether you're looking for a head turning handbag or a watch that says it all, jewelry that makes you look like the gem or sneakers and streetwear that make every step feel fly. eBay is making sure the things you love are authenticated by real experts because we all know there's no feeling like real. These days to know for sure you're getting the real deal, go straight to eBay. When you're searching, just look for that blue check mark. It will say authenticity guarantee. That means when you buy it, you can be confident that it's going to be authenticated by real experts through a hands-on detailed inspection. Every stitch, sole, logo, and inch of it. They're making sure it's the real thing. Listen, when you're finally ready to buy that thing you love, you have to make sure you're not going to catch a fake. They're everywhere and it's really tough to tell the difference for yourself. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, it's easy. Again, just look for that blue check mark and you know it's checked by real experts. Whether they're specialized in sneakers, streetwear, watches, jewelry, or handbags, these are real people who really live for this. That way, when it hits your doorstep, not only do you know it's real, but that feeling you get when you put it on is also for real. Nobody that I've ever met in my life loves eBay more than my dad. Really? He is on eBay 24 (laughs) seven, truly for any gift, Father's Day, birthday, anything. I'm like, what do you want? He's like eBay gift card. Mr. Cruz, I did not know this. He loves scouring through eBay to find deals, to find, you know, shoes. He loves like nice shoes, nice golf clothes, anything that he could possibly want because he loves a deal. (laughs) And the authenticity guarantee is absolutely perfect for him so that he knows that he's getting what he's paying for. Well, now I know to get your dad gift cards for eBay. He loves. I had no idea. (laughs) Love it. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. Hey guys, Remy here. So I wanted to come on to talk to you about AG1. I actually tried AG1 because Cal got me onto it and he loves it. Truly, it changed his life and he was always saying amazing things about it. He had so much energy. He was just so excited to get up in the morning and try it that he got me to try it. And now I love it as well. Since I've started drinking AG1, I felt seriously so much energy. I just feel so good. I feel more awake. I feel more alert. I feel like I'm taking care of myself. And you guys know that's something that I was really trying to prioritize this year for myself. And it's been so easy to just wake up, get it into my routine. It's the first thing I do in the morning. And it's been an absolute game changer for me. Not only does AG1 deliver my daily dose of vitamins, minerals, pre and probiotics, and more, but it's a powerful, healthy habit that's also powerfully simple. It's just one scoop. You mix it in with water, one a day, every day. And it's so easy to do, you guys. It also has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. I'm just overall more awake. And then also it's great because it supports healthy hair and clear, brighter skin. And also for me, honestly, I was looking for help with my gut. We all know how important gut health is, and it's absolutely amazing to help reduce and alleviate bloating. It supports the microbiome, helps with digestion, just all overall things that are so great. And it's just so easy to take. AG1 is a supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily, and that's why I'm excited to welcome them as a new partner. Here's your chance to start every day this season with a gift to yourself. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash prettybasic. That's drinkag1.com slash prettybasic. Check it out. 
What's one of the weirdest dreams you remember from your childhood or like one that stuck with you for a long time? And it could be random. Oh my God. I have this one, but see, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh, it's okay. You don't have to. It's like, I have a reoccurring nightmare and I've had since I was a kid. Scary. I'm not going to talk about it. Do you have like a light one? Um, no. (laughs) I distinctly, (laughs) no, what do you dream about? Well, I just, I just like forget about my dream. Like I'm the type of person that by the time I wake up and I'm peeing, I forget. Oh, mine always like comes back to me later in the day or, mm-hmm. or something random. But I remember specifically being little and having this one dream being in my parents' house where I was flying down the stairs, like flying, actually flying. And then I must have watched some like scary show because I there was like these a uh, big like, what are the witch uh, like goblet? Cauldron. Ca- ca- cauldron. Mm-hmm. It was that. And then, you know, how like cartoon fish bones would skeletons, how they yeah. look. I, would, I was sitting there and I was just like, <laughs> I was like eating these fish skeletons. And that's a reoccurring dream for you? No, that's just like one of my earliest dreams. I remember, I remember oh. I was so little. I must have watched Casper or something, like mm. honestly. But I remember being like, that's one where I'm like, oh yeah, that was a dream I had forever ago. Cause it's so random. I don't remember any of mine. Must be trauma. Do you ever have dreams that were nights apart, but feel like the same day? I, uh, well, yes, I have like the dream that I'm thinking about throughout my life. I've had it like, once or twice a year, like ever since I was a kid, like it just, the same reoccurring dream over and over and over and over again. See, I don't really have, Ashley has reoccurring ones. I don't really have like actual reoccurring ones like that, but there'll be times where maybe I, I don't know, went to Disneyland for instance, or went to the beach. And then two weeks later I have another dream, but in my second dream that was later, it'll feel like the beach one, the beach dream was the same day. Interesting. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes for me, I'll, be sleeping, I'll have a dream, I'll wake up to pee, drink water, or just get woken up. I'll go back to sleep and end right back or start right back where I woke up from. Do yes. you ever have that? I've had that a few times. And what's weird is sometimes it's like, I know I'll be like, ooh, I, I wanna go back to that yeah, dream. Same, and then same, it, same. it happens. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh my God. I saw, I don't know where, I th- some country made technology where you can actually see your dreams. What? Yes, it's like they put like I don't know what I don't know what it is or what they do, but they no ju- no 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 they just they just put it out where basically you sleep with a with things on your head, yeah, and when you wake up it will play like what a TV could play what your dreams were, and I'm like how does that work? But also how does a record make noise off of plastic? No. Yes. Those are two completely no. different things, no, 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 bitch. No, 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 no. no. It's all at one point it was a thought and someone said, "Wow, that'd be crazy." And everyone was like, "No, that could never happen." And then here we are. Okay, like <laughs> yes, but I'm like when they play this quote-unquote video, is it like animated? Is it like no, there's like someone has to create no. But it's the it's the things connected to your brain. Yes, no, no. And I agree. I I think there's a world where it could show on a video, but I'm like maybe not in a movie setting, you know, and we're not like watching their dreams like no, in, no. in real life. Is it would it be like, like you woke up and then my guess is you'd be like, oh my God, that's exactly how it looked. No. That's what it seemed like There's from the no. article. There's, and it was an article. Well, yeah, re- wait, I'm just, because I'm like, I don't understand how they could produce it that quickly. Anything that need, that is like a movie needs to be created. Oh no, but it's not like, it's not like someone films it. How is it like, how does it come out like on a screen? Like in my head, I'm like, maybe it's like, like almost like a, like a heart rate monitor, like maybe that's where they're like, you know what I mean? Okay, wait, wait. There's no way it's like an actual movie. Our third fight on the podcast. <laughs> Our third fight ever. <laughs> ever. Okay, okay. This came out October 30th, 2023. So this was recent. Okay. Scientists in Japan claim to have invented a dream reading machine that can record the weird and wonderful world of dreams and replaying your subconscious misbehaving and stunning video sequences using a modified MRI machine. You wouldn't hate it. (laughs) (laughs) Researchers were able to identify specific brain activity patterns occurring while people dreamed about different scenarios like flying or seeing loved ones. The MRI scanner then analyzes the patterns through computer algorithms, um, creating images that represent the visuals once experienced. So I'm curious if it's like, the technology is still in its beta phase. Okay, slay. But scientists (laughs) and psychologists are super excited about the possibility this device could have for delving into our subconscious minds. You know what? I think, I mean- it sounds really fucking cool. And I'm sure one day we'll get to what I was imagining you were saying initially, but I do think it's like, sounds similar to like, you know, when you do 23 and me and they can only tell you actually what 
you are based on other data that they already have. Yeah, like it sounds similar to that. Like maybe when we dream of love or we dream of flying, like our brain shoots off different little like microcurrents or something Mm. that like maybe that's how they identify like, oh, well, they're flying because of like, well, these people said they were flying. So like, you know what I mean? Like a case study. But it's like, because women in STEM though. We, (laughs) (laughs) we, this is a video. See, to me, this just looks like, like it wouldn't be exactly. It would that just looks be like, like a video that the government is telling us that aliens exist. No, dead ass. Wow. Yeah, it's like is the way that your trailer? brain is shooting off. That's cool. Okay, but that's, that's not, really cool. Uh, I still, you know what? Maybe the world doesn't need to see my dreams. Like, I, I personally would not be hooked up to that machine. The government would be like, what are you hiding? I'm like, I'm not hiding anything, I promise. <laughs> if you fear it so much though. Then where's the body? I'm like, it, I don't know. <laughs> Like that ass, that would be it. <laughs> Whoo! Uh, okay. Anyways, yeah, AI's been crazy. <laughs> that's no. That I mean, one day we will get to that, and that's really mm. cool. But yeah, that's very interesting. This episode's kind of all over the place. No, I love but it's it. Fun, it's yeah. very throwback. Um. So. Oh, she's serious. She's crossing her arms. <gasps> you have black. Wait, are they blue nails? Black no. Nails? Uh, are you? Where's your ring, <laughs> Remy? <laughs> Wow, I'm sorry. I'm the worst. It took me an hour to notice. <laughs> Literally an hour. No, it's okay. Trouble in parent. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I shouldn't joke about that. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was going to make a joke and I was like, no, no, it's no, not yeah, funny. No, I, I was going to be like, oh my God, what the Drama, fuck drama. No, we can keep that in. That's funny. Um, I finally went to get my ring resized because I thought my fingers were going to get like significantly smaller after I got engaged. And these, they're still really, really not. So... I went to go get it resized just a little bit down and um, they've got my ring now for a few weeks. So a few weeks. Yeah. I didn't realize it's that long. I know me either. They were like, I, I called them to ask if I could send the ring in and they were like, yeah, we'll just like send you a shipping label and just like stick it in there and send it out. And I was like, um, you're like, no, I will personally yeah, is it okay drop, if I drop it, it, off it off in a briefcase that's cuffed to my wrist. Isn't that really <laughs> crazy that I mean, like for them, obviously, even like when I'm sure Cal picked it up, like they, it obviously went through a shipping process of some sort, but it just scares me that they were so just blase, like just ship it back out to us. It's fine. We'll do it. Um, but <laughs> good thing he got the insurance. I know. Yeah. Does it count on that? No, it didn't. And that's what he said too. He was like, it didn't cover the the ring resizing. Wait, so you only brought it down a little bit? Yeah, I could only bring it down a, a half a size. And then they said after that, they can't make it smaller for me. I think based on like the one that I chose, which I didn't know that. Um, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, you know, <laughs> could I just get like a different band or something? They're like, no, we don't sell just bands. You'll have to buy the entire ring over again. So TBD, hopefully everything works out for me. I'll keep everyone in the loop. Please do, because I know nothing about rings. All I know is my when I blow, my fingers can, depending on how dehydrated I am. Same. My rings can fall. Like this ring is so loose right now, but also there's a world where I can't get it off after I have too much like sodium. Or if you like rinse your hands in cold water or if it's just cold in general, your fingers shrink. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so I'll keep you abreast with that. But right now I'm living with a roommate. I have a roommate at my house. Oh my God. For the past, or it's gonna be for like a couple weeks or so. Cal's best friend is in town and he's been staying with us. I didn't realize it was for a few weeks. Yeah, he's here for a while. I love him. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no, I love him so much, but it was so funny because I've just realized the differences in, in men, and women, or rather the differences in Cal and Remy. I'll just, I won't generalize. Mm-hmm. I'll say specifically us two. Because the reason why Cal's best friend is staying with us is their mutual best friend from college is getting married this weekend. Yes. Or next weekend, rather. Yeah. He came down and maybe like a few months ago or so, uh, Cal had asked if it's okay if his, if his friend, his name is Forrest. Can Forrest come down and stay with us before the wedding? I was like, for sure. I love Forrest. He's yeah. the best. And um, he had told me like the dates, but I was like, it's so far out. Don't like tell me later and I'll put it in my calendar, but like, no worries. He can stay for as long as he wants or wherever he wants. And, um, all of a sudden, like a week ago, he comes down. I hear he like leaves a room to go take a phone call and he comes back down. And he's like, he looks like he saw a ghost. He's like, Remy, I'm so sorry. And I was like, what's going on? He's like, Forrest just told me he's coming tomorrow. And we had <laughs> zero clue zero idea and I was like oh my god like no worries and he was so apologetic and like felt so I was like it's truly it's not a big deal yeah no worries yeah. at all um and he was like Remy I swear he was like he had told me initially like initial dates and then 
they never, they don't talk because guys don't talk. Yeah. So they didn't follow up until finally Cal was like, hey, my, by the way, man, which Cal never even remembers to do this. So I'm like, thank God no, he did. He's learned something from me. Yes. <laughs> no, because <laughs> like they never do yes. that. And he was like, hey, just checking in, dude. Like, yeah, what dates are you coming? And Forrest just replies, tomorrow. So then Cal immediately calls him and he's like, wait, what's going on? And Forrest is like, yeah, I meant to call you. I was going to get around to calling you. Like, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. And it all, it totally worked out. But I'm just like, Dudes are so chill. And yesterday I was with Forrest and he was like, I'm so sorry again, Remy. Like I, I totally just, I was like, it's totally fine. But like we would never. And then even going down to like the wedding of it all. Oh yeah, we would never. Well, I was just like months ahead. I was like, oh, I've known about this wedding for a long time. I was like, uh, you know, like what's the attire? And Cal's like, I'll figure it out. Cause you know, cocktail. Yeah. Black, what is it called? Black tie, mm -hmm. Um, you know casual mm -hmm. summertime spring whatever beach i was like <laughs> what dress do i need to wear and so obviously cal's best friend is the one that's getting married it's his guy best friend so like we're on the groom side so he's not asking the bride questions who i'm sure would provide a slew of information oh, yeah. color scheme um, mood board everything exactly i finally like a week ago was like hey cal by the way like can you ask russell what what i should wear cal goes yeah for sure i'll ask him now dress <laughs> Just, wait, wait, just, a question. Was Cal satisfied with that answer? Should we call and ask him? <laughs> I'm just, I could see him being like, oh, a dress. Yeah, <laughs> well, actually, I think also, he also, Cal only, Cal told me dress and I was like, can you ask for more information? He never got back to me. And then his friend, that's a girl, reach out to Cal and was like, can you ask Remy what she's wearing? Because all I got was dress. <laughs> and I was like, I understand. I like, I still to this day, I don't know. Oh my I don't God. know. Dress. Also, like imagine you show up like it's prom, like black tie and ever it's like some like Southern country wedding. That's just like not. Or even worse, worse. Cause at least then I'm a little overdressed. Uh -huh. I come in a casual dress mm. and it's black tie. Oof. That is so offensive. Oof. That is so <laughs> bad. So I'll be wearing a dress. I can't wait to see what dress it will be. I think I'll maybe need like an aquamarine moment where I can like, mix it up on site once I see everybody else there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like a longer, drop it down a bit. Oh my. Little skims moment, hike it up a bit. Yeah. What's crazy is if you really think about it, like now when you're planning your wedding, just imagine all of Cal's side, like like the guys, mm -hmm. they're not going to notice the napkin. <sighs> I know, they're you're not so gonna, right. They're not going to notice the flowers. Yeah. No one's gonna. You know. could literally be like, "What was above Cal and I during our wedding ceremony?" Be like, Cal wouldn't be able to tell. Cal, you. Wait, yeah, well, he gets a pass because he's probably like freaked out, you know, like, like he's like, "Oh my god," like excited, just like tunnel vision. You're right, but like maybe that'll help you with your wedding planning. No, it won't. Because no, really, I'm gonna it? notice everything. <laughs> I'm not gonna plan it for their friends who told me to wear a dress <laughs> to a wedding. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but I will say, speaking of weddings, I. I'm not getting married anytime soon, but I have made one decision. You know, like the question everyone's like, when are you getting married? Have mm -hmm. you planned anything? Have you looked into it? No, 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 no. no, I haven't looked into anything. The one thing that I have decided without a doubt, I will be hiring a film crew for my bachelorette party and we're going to be filming it like a reality show. I want confessionals. Oh. I want drama. I want it all the kardashians i think actually might have some competition i don't want kardashians i want like jersey shore oh. like like housewives like i Got want it. like real shit going on well luckily um mic me up no i'm like <laughs> everyone must sign waivers that if they NDAs. come like they got yeah, ndas and like um you know forms that they're okay to be on camera at all like i want it all i really do and then after i want to do like a viewing party for us to like watch it back and no, have it be episodic i and not even like for the public no no, no just for us for us but if you want to do a little patreon moment a little paywall moment pay for your wedding i mean <laughs> i I think I would much rather post my wedding video than that. 
Yeah. I can't, I can just imagine the doom, 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 doom music and Murphy being like, and then that bitch pushed me off the table at Lavo Brunch. And no, blah, 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 blah. Be like, and then I turned around and they weren't there. So I figured, okay, well, I guess I just have to go to this penthouse party that this random guy invited me to. Like maybe they're there. That would be him. Which also, if you guys have not listened to the Murph episode, I think that truly was one of my favorite episodes this entire season. He's so fun and so cute. I love, I love him so much. No, I love having our friends on because it's just like, it's easy. It, I don't overthink it. Silly. I love obviously having like other influencers on too, but it's just a little bit easier when friends come on. Oh my God. Yeah. Cause then you can like, you know, crack a joke, be yourself, be yourself, just hang be out. Silly, be you, be different. Be yourself. <laughs> How are you feeling about vlogmas this year? Oh, uh, honestly, great. Do I have an intro? Nope. <gasps> nope. Do I have an idea? Nope. Nope. Well, actually by the time that this comes out, it will be, will be in the thick of Vlogmas. Oh my so, God, future Alicia, I hope you're okay. I can talk about my intro that I've decided on. Are you doing the animated one? Yes, a little bit. So I, for the past few years, I've done an animated intro, which I very much love because I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I'll actually, be an email. Do, it's really cute too. And it's done. Um, this year, I decided though, because it's my 10th year, is it your 10th year of Vlogmas yes. as well? It's our annual 10th year of Vlogmas. We need to throw ourselves like a little party No, or like something. this is a big deal. I think that's why I feel more pressure. I'm like, this is the 10th year, 2013. Yeah, I know. That's Isn't that insane. so wild? I, last year really wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not. And even like all this year, I wasn't sure, but I was like, 10 years, I have to do it. Mm -hmm. Next year, maybe I won't. I'll see. It also just kind of like depends on how I'm Life, doing. Yeah. yeah, cause it's 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 a lot. But I wanted to do some form of animation because I love it. Cause it's easy and it's just so cute. And like no, my dream cute. has been to be in a Pixar movie. I wanted to be a voice animator. Like it'd be so fun. <gasps> Is there dialogue? Um, You know what, should I? You should. I'll tell you my idea. I okay. haven't told you yet. And then you can give me some notes. Um, And by the time you're watching this, it's, it's done. Out. So go watch <laughs> it on my Rem Life YouTube. But I wanted to incorporate some sort of animation and I kind of wanted to do like cute because right now or the past animation ones I've done they've been like cute little like Christmassy scenes like you've mm -hmm. been in one shopping at the mall skiing whatever <laughs> but I was like how cute would it be if I had like a storyline to it and so I've decided and I'm like looking into renting a crane <laughs> I really am we're gonna see what we do but I wanted to start it out with Cal and I like I wanted to act a little bit like show off my Oh, I wasn't on Bizarre Bark. Showing, show off. <laughs> suddenly like I'm you. That's our claim to fame. <laughs> I wanted to show off my What a Girl Wants, What a Girl Is. Yeah, What a Girl Is Dove Cameron music video acting chops. <laughs> and so I was thinking like, okay, how can I incorporate this animation and like my acting skills? And I've decided it's going to start. I'm going to tell you like a storyline. Okay. Okay. Actually, I was thinking of maybe even getting a drone. <laughs> me saying I'm not going to do vlogmas and now me renting a crane and a drone. And I a red feel camera. like I've rubbed off on you and I love it. You really have. <laughs> I was like, how cute would it be to start with like a drone shot, like flying through the house and starting with the 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 poem, like, um, oh my God, is it from a Christmas story? Whatever it is. Yeah, Christmas. it was the night before, but it's twas the night before vlogmas and all through the house. Not a Momo is stirring, not even a mess. Like, uh, like I have Ready? to write this out. So. I need you to do it. So that'll be, maybe I'll have Cal do it. I'll have someone like with a deep voice do the little poem that's going to be like, through the house, the <laughs> drone, getting the ki the tree, the but why fireplace. Do I feel like it should be like Murph or Evan or like. <gasps> <laughs> that would be it should so be good. Ollie, just like oh my God. <laughs> being crazy. So then it's gonna fly through the house, and then it ends up with me and Cal in bed. And Cal's like, "Good night, Ram. Are you so excited? Like it's your tenth year of Vlogmas." Oh my God, wait, this is so perfect because it's literally what we were talking about in the episode. I didn't even put it together. He's gonna be like, it's your 10th year. Like, are you excited? And I'm gonna be like, I don't know. Like, I just like have this feeling that something's gonna go wrong. And he's gonna be like, you're fine, Ram, go to bed. So we go to bed and then it cuts to the animation scene. And in the animation scene, it's a dream sequence of like three different things of, of something going wrong in Vlogmas. Like for instance, when I almost set my house on fire, like oh. alluding to that, I was like, I could be building a snowman and I like lose my ring or like baking a, a cake and I lose my ring while like making Christmas cookies or something. Like three little instances were like, oh my God, something went wrong in Vlogmas. Or like, um, I was thinking when I was like, I could be like walking the dogs and then all the leashes like tie around me and I like fall over. Just Wait, like, that's cute. so cute. I did get inspo from Alicia Marie when Chloe knocked you down when you were hanging at the Christmas lights. Oh my God, babe. And so then, and then I'm gonna wake up and be like, <gasps> It was just a dream. And then vlog miss 2023. Full circle. Yes. That's my, I really didn't even put it together Remy, what we were talking about. I love it. Thank you so much. Will it be executed well? We're not sure. Right now, the idea is good. You know what it, you know what it could be? Uh, Under the sink. <laughs> <laughs> it 
It could be. And I don't even want to elaborate on that. If you know, you know. You know. Under the sink. You know what though? That really taught me that people love me for me. And <laughs> yeah. and and um to never change. And to never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your dreams or your sink. So I wanted to work with a new animator this year too, because I wanted just a whole different look. Like yeah. I've done the same thing two years in a row and I wanted something different. And so I have been on the, on the hunt for an animator and I wanted like Disney Pixar level, which budget, not there. But like, maybe like, <laughs> A little under DreamWorks. I was gonna you know? say maybe yeah, DreamWorks. Yeah, yeah, a little under DreamWorks, <laughs> a little Shrek adjacent. And so I've been looking for someone and I found this person online who was offering it like at a really scary good rate. Like one damn it. Hundredth of what I would normally pay. And I was like, this is this seems off. But still, like I liked, I like, I was going off of like their, their art style too. Nothing she loves more than a deal. Nothing tastes better than a deal. So I was like, okay. Also, cause like there were some that I found that were like more in what you would think was a price range, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It ended up being like, they, they advertise their price as one thing, but I liked their art style. So I wanted to go with this person. They advertise their price as one thing. And then it ended up being that they were charging for like the second versus the project as a whole, which is fine. So then once it once we added it up, it, it made a little bit more sense. It was mm-hmm. a little bit more expensive than what I was expecting, but still more than fine. So someone on my team has been doing the the conversation with them. Like they were just, they sent me like a bunch of different options. I went with this one, all worked out. They're like, cool. And they were like asking for payment. And I just had another person on my team handle that. So I was like, hey, you handle that. I'm busy today. And so- I sat through the day though, and I was like, wait, are they paying up front? Because if it was me running the conversation or like being in the conversation, you know, I would have been like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna pay up front. Or you, there, I feel like normally in that situation, you do like um, a deposit and then you do half yes. of the payment when it's like halfway done yes. after you've seen something. Exactly. Because I understand they can't just give you the work and then, because then people won't pay. Also, yeah. I will say this is through like a third party site. So oh. it's not just like directly giving them the money. I think that we paid the money, but it's like within the site. And then there's like refund policies and things if it doesn't work out. So I knew I could get my money back, but I was like, oh shoot, did we like pay them everything? Everything, And they did pay them everything. And then it turns out that they ended up being kind of like, they're super scammy. They wouldn't give us any like pre-drawings of like what it would look like because like animation styles are so different, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, And I I wanted it to be specific. And so they wouldn't even give any like examples or anything like that. Cause normally you definitely said you go to the drawing board. There's like a rough outline. Like I feel like normally you would see that stuff. Yes, agreed. And that's how I worked with other people in the past. And that's pretty normal. Also that's to protect the artist because you don't want them wasting their time doing a whole project for you to be like, no, I don't like this. And then changing it. For sure, for sure, for sure. Basically, I just got a screenshot between like the person on my team and the animator. And the person on my team was very much like, hey, like this just actually isn't how we work. So it's totally fine. We don't need to do the project anymore. Mm -hmm. And we don't feel comfortable like paying up front and like not getting anything till the final project and getting no notes. Like we we would need that. And they just start sending like long paragraphs, like explaining like why they like deserve a chance now and like why like they're backtracking and all these things. It just got really dramatic. Oh my God. But all to say, I found someone different to Wait, do it. So did you get your money back? I don't, uh, I haven't gotten <laughs> it yet, but uh, the website like should be giving my money back again. Cause it's like a third party website. Yeah. So hopefully I get it back. Uh, I will get it back to some degree, I'm sure. But um, they definitely, I just got a text out of nowhere yesterday that was like, Hey, I think we're getting scammed. Like it just, it, it feels very weird oh my God. and they're not willing to budge at all. So you're like, no, let's just find it all new. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I, I'm really good with whatever. But anyway. Oh my God. It was a lot of money. Um, but yeah, that's my idea for Vlogmas, my intro. Let's see, watch it literally just be like a repeat of last year's cause it just didn't work out. It's just the same, no, it's I know. the same We're one. Like, it needs to be so epic. It's our 10th year and it's literally like nothing. I was talking to Lauren and Mia cause they were like, has Alicia figured out her intro? And I was like, I don't think so. And they're like, how does she feel like having to top it every year? And I was like, I don't know. It'll be in a different way. Yeah. I definitely have to do something with the t- with all with footage the other day i was just going through all of my old vlogmas like intros and clips and behind the scenes and footage because i'm like i want to utilize all of that footage i have the raw footage for like everything so i mean obviously like i can't <gasps> wait yes yeah like it something, should be but i don't <gasps> want, okay but remember when the kardashians did the one intro of it, it was all retro with like them as kids and like yes everyone hated it they were like we want to see you glam you know what i mean 
Well, I just think you should incorporate all of your nine other Vlogmas intros into Somehow. it. Somehow. I think it should be I that. I know, like Era's vibes or like something. <gasps> it's I know. It's been a long time coming, but. What if I just do like a bad version of her? The Errors Tour? Errors. Errors Tour. <laughs> the Errors. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. I love it. <laughs> That'd be really cute. That's actually hilarious. Like a house thing like she did. It could be like. The house burning a down. Condo. The house burning down. <laughs> Okay, we're on to something. Um, I can't wait to watch this episode when it comes out and to see what we end what, up doing. Yeah, yeah, I am very excited. Oh my God. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pretty Basic. Um, also, happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Mm -hmm. Go subscribe to our vlog channels because hopefully uh, it's popping over we there. We got something going on. Yeah, we're we're really um, doing it for the craft over on the channel. So please go watch mm -hmm. our vlog channels. Rem Life, Alicia Marie Vlogs. Alicia Marie Vlogs. Um, and we will catch you next week with another episode. Love it. I love this episode. It felt very nostalgic. Just chatting it. about things. Things and dreams. Things and dreams. <laughs> love it. We'll love you guys. We'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye.